And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to remove a green screen. Let me copy the original here and we'll perform it on the right hand side. So I'll copy, I'll rename it to remove. And the basic idea behind a green screen is that it's easy to erase. I will use the select by color tool for it. If you can't find that, go to tools, selection tools, and there it is. Shift O is the short key for it. For mode, we want to replace it. So if you left click and left click again, it's going to replace the last selection. And the threshold is basically defining the range that's going to be selected. You can see that if I left click and left click again, the last selection will be gone. And now if you want to get rid of the green parts, just press the delete key. But if you have the threshold too high, you're going to select other colors as well. If that happens, just press Ctrl Z. For the most part, you want to be around 10 to 15, so that you don't select too many colors outside of the green screen. The level of detail depends on what you need, obviously. You can see that right here, directly at the contour of the model, there are more and more parts. And if you have a very high zoom level, you'll have to take care of all of these little details. And here again, the threshold was too high for me, so that parts of the model were selected. I press Ctrl Z. And if you really want to do it pixel by pixel, you even have to get lower with the threshold to like 5. For most projects, you just want to focus on the outside. So for example here, and get rid of these parts. And if there's a light greenish contour at the higher zoom levels, it doesn't really matter that much. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to take care of even the smaller parts. So I'll use a high zoom level and the lower thresholds and go over that step by step. It's always the same process. Left click, then press the delete key, then left click again. And as long as we've got this replace mode active, the last selection will be deselected automatically. And we've got a new one active that we can delete. If you still have parts in your background, you can also use different tools to select these areas. For example, here we don't have anything in the background that we would need. So we could also just use the rectangle marquee tool here, drag a selection and then press the key. So that's also possible to get rid of these smaller parts. But the select by color tool, this is the tool to use to get rid of this green screen using it. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.